Karen, welcome to the Home and Birth Centre today. As you can see, we're very quiet and very empty. Um, but I'd be grateful if you could explain to people watching this video why you're here and what's the reason for you being here. So over to you. Okay, um, Michelle, thank you. My name is Karen Lewis. Uh, I work for DMVGL, which is a company that's got the contract with Macmillan Cancer Support to provide assessment services against the Macmillan Quality Environment Mark Assessment. Um, it's an assessment process that looks at the environment and how the suitability for people that are affected by cancer. So that could be patients, it could be relatives, it could be carers, anybody who has been affected by cancer and what support they can get in the area. So coming into your centre today is to look around at the comfort of the environment, the privacy, the dignity, any accessibility issues. Um, the, and the support that's provided through that process. So it's quite an in-depth process looking at the environment, looking at all aspects of it and then looking at how that impacts on the people using it. Brilliant and is this the first time that you've done this for the Humberbird Centre? Or? No, I've, I've, this is my second visit here and it's been amazing to come back and see the improvements that have been made since I was here last time. The expansion that you've done, it's been great, really good. Good. Has there been anything that's actually jumped out at you from the um, improvements from your last visit? I think the fact that you've listened to your patients or your users, your carers, your um, guests as you call them that come here, um, listen to what they want. Last time I came there was quite a lot of multi-activities going on in all of the areas whereas now you've got designated areas for craft and all the messy kind of things that happen and you've got a really uh, lovely holistic centre for people having therapies. So from that you've been able to break the areas down so they're more supportive I suppose to people and offer them greater privacy, dignity and um, yeah, support. From being with us from last time, is there a service that's actually jumped out to you that we've never done or we weren't providing? I think the children's area that you've developed is really interesting and obviously is, is offering a unique um, service to people in this area. There's not many places that support children, so I think that area that you've created is fantastic. And for those, again, who don't know our facilities here, can you just enlighten where those children facilities are being provided? Because obviously we've got three buildings here at the moment at the Humberbird Centre. So the children's area is in the um, craft block and is very close to the um, office. So I think there's quite a, a good amount of supervision there, lots of space for them to get involved in all the messy activities I suppose that they might want to do um, and make as much noise as possible. <laughs> and in the actual corner, which is our quiet corner, there was the tree put on there. What did you think about that when you saw that? Because that wasn't there last time either, was there? No, it wasn't and that's great. I mean, it, it provides, um, yeah, inspiration to others. Yeah, really good. Great. Thank you. Well, I'm glad that that's one of the services that's jumped out to you because we have been passionate on actually providing support for children and um, and that's being done through the SENCOs as well. So the parents have an input and they are allowed to have time out from school, which is really important to allow that to happen. Mm -hmm. So thank you for bringing that to um, people's attention as well. And like I said, we'll keep our fingers crossed that that helps towards our award also. I'm sure it will. Thank you.